Hi. I've got a problem with the uh, the Clio Mark III. It's got a cylinder two misfire on the um, code reader. What I'm going to do is show you how to uh, access the spark plugs on this uh, particular version. It's got pencil coils. Alright, looking at the engine, you can see where the coils are. These are where the spark plugs uh, access holes are normally on a car with um, a, a coil pack and HT leads. These don't have HT leads. These have pencil coils. That's cylinder number one, two, three and four. So we'll have a look at number two. In order to remove the uh, low tension plug, just push down and pull. You can do it with your thumb actually. I'll try. There, there we go. Now this, we need a tool like this. This is about a 10 millimeter socket on a, an, on a screwdriver adapter. So you can get undo the, the nut which holds the pencil coil in. It's a bit dark here but I've opened this up before. We've had a problem and there's been water um, inside the access hole. If I get the torch and you should be able to see the spark plug down there. Go right down into there. There's the spark plug. Okay, that's the pencil coil. There's one for each spark plug. As you can see, there's a little bit of water ingress there, which is causing a misfire. Okay, this happened when the car was driven in um, heavy water, lots, lots of surface water. It must have gone over the engine and got inside the spark plug um, access hole. Okay, so what I'm going to do is dry it out, okay, and then put it back. Okay, I've cleaned out the, um, the hole. There was a bit of damp at the bottom, and I've cleaned the, cleaned off the um, water from there. Let's make sure there's no water in there. Well, the coils just popped out. Put that back in. Put the cover back on. Fit it back in. Time to run up the engine. Right, I need to uh, reset the fault codes to, uh, with this C reader. It's pretty good, this one. Right, so exit that, erase codes. I've got the ignition on to erase codes. You need the ignition on. Are you sure? Yes. So there's no more fault codes there. So if I switch the engine on. Nice and smooth. So I'm going to press enter to read codes and see if there's any faults from the ECU. Just press enter, it takes a while. No faults so far. Do it again.
Well, that seems to have done the trick. Let's hope it doesn't work, um, happen again. I've put some grease, by the way, um, around it before uh, this video was done. So hopefully the grease around the, the, the seal should stop any water ingress. But what it really needs is a good run up the motorway to get the engine hot and to evaporate all the water or moisture. Okay, that's it.